This is the inside of the sequence, uh, I think it's called Administrative Sequence to Manage Monthly Newsletters. It's a very long name and all it does is remind you. I have it set, see my January newsletter went out on the 18th. Well I have this set for seven days before the newsletter is due. I'm going to create a task and that task reminds me to create the newsletter and to set it as ready. See what this looks like? See I'm my name, get the newsletter ready. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to prepare the newsletter content. I'm going to suppose and then I'm going to set the newsletter to send by connecting the email to the date timer. Remember I had those that disconnected because I just don't want one to accidentally go out. So I leave everything disconnected. Then I also want um, you have to assign a backup and I don't know how that got undone except maybe they're working on Infusionsoft but anyhow I like multiple reminders I don't trust just one because I don't always log into Infusionsoft every day so what am I going to do I'm going to assign it to the owner I'm going to assign it to the backup I'm going to say that it is critical it has a critical priority. I'm going to notify the owner. I'm going to notify myself. When all this is said and done, I'm going to get an email and I'm going to get a task on my dashboard. And this is what that looks like. See right here where it says to do list? Wait a minute. Maybe I need to pull this down. There we go. Uh, see where it says to do list? This is a widget. See where it says add? Maybe you can't see it. I have to figure out how to change this in Camtasia. Up there at the top it's got something that says add dashboard widgets. And so I would just add the widget and add my to-do list which is enough. I just renamed it to from task to to-do. And see it's showing here plus that it's also going to be sending me emails. So I um, a trick to learn is always when you change something even if it's set to ready, go from ready to draft and back to ready just to be safe. Okay, so that's what this looks like. Here's a good example of how the arrows look. Some people do it. See, I, I do my arrows like this. When I'm building out a sequence, I send it like this. And uh, some people like to do it line by line. When you do, you got all these lines going this way. So anyhow, that's how I do this.